to do is make sure your system is off. Connect your hoses to your condenser. Low pressure side, high pressure side. Make sure your gauges are closed. You'll take the yellow hose, which is on the middle port. You'll connect that to the in or suction port of the recovery machine. You'll have another yellow hose, a separate one. That will be on the out or discharge. That will connect to your recovery tank. That will be the liquid side. Make sure you read the knobs. It says liquid here. This one says vapor here. Now make sure that you follow these quick tips for a faster recovery. Make sure you purge your hoses of any air. And make sure that when you're doing the recovery, that you connect your recovery tank to a three-prong uh, cord. Make sure it's a three-prong. You'll open up the liquid side on your recovery tank. Make sure you open it all the way. Make sure your hose is nice and tight. You'll come here to your recovery machine. You'll turn your system on. You'll come to your gauges and you'll open up your low side. You can see here it's already starting to drop. Remember, we're using our gauges as a metering device. We're almost at the level that we're looking for. This is the high, it's almost on the zero. And the low pressure is dropping to zero. Now once you're doing the recovery, once you see that your gauges are on zero, that means you've completely recovered any refrigerant in your system. What you'll do is you'll come over here, you'll close your tank. You'll turn off the recovery machine. And then you will close your gauges on the vapor side which is the low pressure.